Let's make some talk about um, congenital pediatric gastrointestinal problem. So let's start first with a premature baby. This is premature baby. So the organ affected is the most, most common organ affected is colon. What happened in the colon regarding pathology, usually after milk ingestion, there is ischemia. There will be ischemia to the colon and the clinical features will be fever, leukocytosis, so white blood cells increase and bloody diarrhea. Anytime, by the way, blood diarrhea is one of the important causes is ischemia. So bloody diarrhea of the baby and it is just premature baby. So now what is this disease? We can call this disease is necrotizing enterocolitis so this is first second what else if it is one day one day baby one day baby you have two differential in your mind first and let us say this is second again if it is colon or distal rectum let us say colon uh, sorry distal colon and rectum the problem will be upper stylus is a problem a peristalsis is a problem or a neural crest problem. So in case of peristalsis or neural crest problem, now the clinical features will be failure to pass meconium, failure to pass meconium. And now you can tell, you can tell what is the diagnosis for the disease is Hirschsprung disease. Okay, so this is, remember, this is one day old baby. So the diagnosis will be Hirschsprung, sorry, disease. So this is the second disease of the congenital GI problem. Remember also if it is one day baby and but here, but here look, look, the structure will be duodenum. So duodenum involved, so duodenum involved, what is the problem with the duodenum here? It is apoptosis problem. Why it is apoptosis? Because failure of recanalization. So recanalization problem, so defect in recanalizations, what will be the clinical features? Remember, this is Billas vomiting. This is Billas vomiting because it is distal to the what? to the bile duct. The same baby, look, the same baby, it is non-bellus vomiting, non-bellus vomiting, but what is the organ here affected? The organ here affected is stomach problem. Remember, there's stomach problem in case of three weeks. Now we are talking about three weeks old baby and stomach problem. The stomach, what is the stomach problem? Usually it is smooth muscle problem. So smooth muscle hypertrophy. I, I can say this problem is abstracted problem. It is not ischemic, not apoptosis, not upper status. So this is abstracted problem. In case of the stomach, which part of the stomach actually it is the pylorus? pylorus region of the stomach affected and look at the differential diagnosis of the three weeks old baby with non bellus vomiting now this is congenital congenital pyloric stenosis this is congenital pyloric stenosis if it is one day old baby duodenum now the organ is a duodenum affected with bellus vomiting now this is duodenal this is duodenal atresia this is duodenal atresia now this is now until now we finish around four diseases necrotizing pterocoritis hirschsprung disease duodenal atresia congenital pyloric stenosis so what next let's move now we finished three weeks so one month three months okay let's move to the eight months eight months to two to two year old baby what is the common organ usually after vaccine usually after vaccine or viral what is the common organ affected is ilio Cecal region, ileocecal region. Now, what is this ileocecal? What is the type of pathology here? The type of the pathology due to invagination of, of terminal ileum into the cecum, the, the pathology will be either ischemia plus negative obstruction, plus negative obstruction. The clinical feature colic pain. This is colic usually short duration. And remember, current jelly, current jelly appearance, which I mean by blood, which what I mean by current jelly appearance is a bloody diarrhea. And always remember, bloody diarrhea pathology is ischemia, as, as this also, the bloody diarrhea pathology is ischemia. Now, what is the disease? What is the disease in this case is enta susception interception okay now let's move to the most common most common congenital abnormality of the of the gi gi system and let us say three-year-old baby now what is the organ affected is ileum i and we can say this is midgut disease because it is ileum so midgut what is the pathology it is vitiline duct so vitiline duct problem i mean failure to Persistent fetal line duct. So what is the clinical features will be lower GI problem or lower GI sorry bleeding. Now what is the what is the diagnosis here? It is Michael's diverticulum. By the way, this is the most common congenital 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 problem in the pediatric most common congenital problem in, in, in GI pediatric pathology congenital remember in case of Michael's diverticulum the tissue is affected is ectopic tissue why I said this is ectopic tissue because frankly because just obvious in the Michael's region here there is either gastric region that's that's why there is an increased acid and peptic ulcer disease like problem so this is peptic ulcer problem or pancreatic problem a pancreatic tissue also could be affected so we can call this kind of pathology is ectopic so really you have to you have to be you 
before your test you have to think like that you have to put three to five ten up to 10 differential diagnoses in your hand in your head and then when you will see a questions you can easily pick the one that you know okay